Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're going to discuss the upcoming new moon on July 5th, 2024. It's going to happen at 11.57 p.m. here in London, so it's GMT time. My goal here is to help you understand the energies of this new moon and to guide you in setting an intention. Setting an intention during a new moon is not about making a wish and waiting for it to come true. It requires action. So set your intention within a couple days of the new moon and make sure that your actions align with that intention until the full moon. A new moon is an ideal time to set intentions for the next 15 days and this one offers great potential for emotional healing and major life changes. Remember, this is a general interpretation. Everyone is going to experience this new moon differently based on their natal chart and their personality as well. This new moon is going to affect Cancers and Capricorns the most, and Aries and Libras are going to feel it too, but to a lesser extent, and uh, those with um, personal planets at 14 degrees as well. But most of us will feel this new moon's energies in some way or other, and we can all use these energies to set things in motion for a better life. Let's begin with the basics. When the moon and the sun align, it's a new moon. This one sits at 14 degrees of Cancer. I like to look at the Sabian symbol to get an idea about like the vibe of the moment. So the Sabian symbol for this degree of Cancer is a very old man facing a vast dark space to the northeast. This symbolizes the courage and wisdom to face the unknown. You'll see it's really fitting for this new moon. Now, the new moon is in Cancer. Cancer is a feminine water sign and it's associated with home, family, emotions and intuition. With the moon ruling Cancer, it's at home, so this new moon focuses on deep emotions and inner needs. Now let's look at the chart. I noticed that it has three main loops of energy. We're going to break them down, starting with the first loop called a minor grand trine. It involves the new moon and Venus in Cancer, Saturn conjunct Neptune in Pisces, and Uranus conjunct Mars in Taurus. The new moon and Venus highlight emotional well-being and relationships. Venus in Cancer ties our values and relationships to our emotional health. Both the moon and Venus form a trine with Neptune and Saturn, so we have dreams and structure merging together. It's like the connection between the spiritual realm and our concrete lives, as above, so below. With both Saturn and Neptune in retrograde, there is an introspective quality to them. This is a good time to review, to re-examine, to reassess what um, your ideals are, but within boundaries, or your commitments to your dreams, or how are you going to turn your dreams to, into reality? The sextile encourages you to blend your emotional needs with your dreams and aspirations, and from there to make concrete decisions, as above, so below, as within, so without. Venus and um, the new moon also form a sextile with Uranus and Mars. Uranus in Taurus brings a desire for radical change and innovation in our values, in our sense of security and in our self-esteem. Then there's Mars. Mars adds an active and assertive energy to this mix. So this sextile encourages practical and innovative steps for emotional security. So with this loop, we have a balanced and supportive environment for growth. There's a harmonious flow of energy that can help us integrate our emotional, spiritual and practical needs. 
with the retrograde planets, we reassess what our lives are about, which is great for setting a new intention and making thoughtful changes in both our everyday and emotional lives. So when you're getting ready to set your intention, ask yourself these questions. In an ideal world, what would my ideal life look like? And how would I feel inside? Write down your ideals and any doubt that arises. That would be Saturn setting boundaries for your dreams. And then think of ways to get around these doubts. Here, Uranus is going to help. And you can ask yourself what radical changes would improve both my inner and outer lives. What needs a good shake-up in my life so my inner and outer lives can be more aligned? All right, let's keep these um, questions to the side and move on to the second loop. It's a T-square and it involves the new moon and Venus with Pluto and Chiron. The new moon opposes retrograde Pluto in Aquarius and it's urging us to confront deep-seated fears and power dynamics. When Pluto's involved, it's never easy, unless you've already done the work. Maybe there's a recurring situation that has to do with your emotional safety. Perhaps what's going on inside and what's going on in the world right now doesn't sit very well with you and there's a voice inside that's going, enough. That's what Pluto is pointing out. You need to deal. Confront these deep-seated fears. Don't ignore these power struggles, both within yourself and in your interaction with society. Interestingly, the new moon and Venus also square Chiron in Aries. This aspect is pushing us to heal wounds related to self-worth and assertiveness. So this configuration brings intense emotional introspection, transformation and healing. As difficult as it may feel, it's allowing us to better understand our emotional, spiritual and practical needs. I always say that self-awareness is the first step to healing. So before setting your intention, you might want to spend some time looking at a wound or trauma that is getting in the way of your emotional safety or your relationships or your values, getting in the way of you being truly yourself. There's potential for profound growth and change here, if we start owning up. This is a time to confront our deepest fears and wounds, especially those related to power, identity, emotional security, and abundance. Only then can you experience the transformative journey towards healing and empowerment. So here's an additional set of questions to prepare you for setting your intention. And so check with yourself. Do I keep on replaying the same scenario even though it's hurting me over and over again? What needs to heal before my life gets better? Try to find out when these cycles started. This work can be challenging, so do consider seeking support from a therapist if you start feeling overwhelmed. Okay, we have the last loop to look at. It's called a wedge and it includes Jupiter in Gemini. Pluto in Aquarius, and Mercury in Leo. Jupiter is forming a trime with transformative Pluto. This harmonious trine between Jupiter and Pluto allows us to embrace deep changes with optimism. And Jupiter is also forming a sextile with expressive Mercury. So here, Jupiter and Mercury encourage us to communicate our feelings and ideas with confidence and creativity, even though the new moon is pushing us to visit the most vulnerable parts of ourselves. So this last loop is encouraging us not only to revisit some vulnerable parts of ourselves or some difficult episodes of our lives, but also to um, do some research about these things and to actually communicate how we feel around um, all this mess. All right, so we've gone around the three loops. We've seen that this is a period of intense emotional and spiritual development. 
and that it comes with big opportunities for personal growth if you confront the deep-seated issues and set transformative changes in motion. Basically, this new moon is about starting to live authentically. That's all I had to share today. I hope that you found this report helpful. Do share your thoughts and intentions in the comments. I'd be very happy to read them. Thank you for watching and happy lunation. Bye.